Yo, what is happening guys? Dr. Beastie here, back with another video, and today, I'm gonna be reacting to this Dumb Man Ripoff channel. I forgot what the guy is called, but uh, I've seen a few of his videos, so really, really cringe. But uh, this one looked really interesting. It just came out like three weeks ago, something like that. It's called Racist Karen Kicks Off, or Kicks Out Muslim from the Airplane, believe it or not, because she works as a flight attendant. And I guess she really hates how the guy looks because his skin's brown or something. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, she kicks him off the plane and things go haywire. Now, is this going to be bad? Of course it will. This will be very cringe. I'm very excited to cringe my eyes out. This is why I never show my face on camera. So yeah, anyways, guys, with all that said, hopefully you enjoy it. Pretty sure you will. And um, yeah, let's begin. This is my last shift here, Mom. And then I'll be on the next flight there. Okay. I'm glad they're sending in a specialist. Be safe. Ooh. I love you. Her mommy over here ain't doing very good. She needs a specialist over here ASAP. I'm sure the surgery will go fine. Okay, bye, Mom. Oh, yeah, the surgery. The surgery of all the surgeries. Hopefully. These delays, I hope it doesn't mess up my big plans. Flight 890 to Chicago, now board. Also, like, why couldn't they do this in an actual airport? Like, okay, I don't even know the answer to this. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys do too, but, like, I'm just saying for the reaction, why? Zone 1, please come up. Oh, finally. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Have a nice flight, sir. Wow, that guy didn't even say, like, thank you or whatever. How? How? How is this guy gonna cause trouble to you? How do you see him as a threat? Oh, let me guess, because his skin's brown. Oh, yeah, of course. See you guys, racism always lingers. Ticket and passport, please? Yes, I'm sorry, Mom. Okay, bye. Jesus. No, 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 that's not necessary, he's not a terrorist, okay, he's not gonna blow up the airport, okay, he's not gonna hijack the plane, no, like, he's not gonna do any of that, it's okay, everything will be alright. I'm not gonna lie, he looks just like this dude. I am brother by Messiah and I tell him to mine! But what if he's not even Muslim? What if he's like not even religious? Oh, I just happen to be an Arab guy who isn't a Muslim and definitely do not believe in Sharia law. What? And your ticket too. It's on my phone. Look, your phone. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That's an invasion of privacy. <laughs> Security? No. Uh, look, look, I'm really sorry. Bro, the other dude was able to get in just fine. He looks suspicious with his hoodie on. Why is this guy, like, why is she, why does she want to take his phone? Because, like, you know, she's very suspicious of his looks. It's and his a, name. I'm Yeah, just, just a little bit. I'm just being treated a little bit unfairly. I'm surprised this guy hasn't gone full haywire yet. Like yelling at the and stuff. I'm gonna call airport police. Clearly, you are up to no good. Miss, miss, I, look, I, I don't want any trouble, okay? I'm a doctor and I, I'm on my way to Chicago to- Just zip it. Can we have Lawa here? Lawa? Can we have Lawa here? What is this, Hawaii? I need some Lawa here ASAP! This man is a f***ing terrorist! We have a problem, passenger. ASAP. I'm afraid for my life. Oh, Jesus Christ. A total Karen move. And I'm a doctor, and I seriously need to get to- Oh, ho, ho. You think you're a big shot, huh? Well, 
flying first class. Look, you do not belong on this flight. And I am sure that the other passengers here will agree with you. No. No. No, Karen. I'm pretty sure they won't. Now, sure, maybe if this is like, I don't know, freaking Oklahoma, they probably will, but this is freaking, I'm pretty sure this takes place in California. Because the guy lives in California and LA, just like dumb man. Like, everyone's gonna be fine. Well, maybe not, I don't know. I mean, you know how liberals are. You will need further checkups. Oh my god! I can't believe this is happening to me. Miss, you are the one freaking passengers out. Shit! Well, I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't hear any passengers freaking out, screaming and yelling, Oh my god, what a danger! Oh my goodness, who are you calling now? Hello? 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 And it seems like his mother or her mother or whatever ain't doing very well. Or one of their family members. That's all I'm going to say. One of their family members ain't doing very well. And he's a doctor and he needs a rush there. Or maybe it's a patient. I don't know. I'm Officer Kelly. I'm going to ask you nicely to come with me to my office. What? No. Look, I'm doctor. I'm sure everything is fine. But right now, there's passengers are freaking out over this altercation. Because they're freaking out over the freaking Karen, not because of the Muslim doctor. Please come with me, or I'll have to detain you. They are freaking oh out. my There's lord! Everyone here. She's causing the scene. Look, I'm trying to make this flight. I need to stay alive. I'm a doctor. Sir, please. You'll make the flight. Here, talk to the woman on the phone. I will. Are you hearing this, Ashley? Come with me. Put the phone away. Oh, this, this is nonsense! Look! Bye bye, psycho. I've just saved thousands of lives. Oh my god! Good job, Karen. <laughs> yeah, definitely some right wing propaganda for sure. <laughs> Next. Oh Jesus, here comes another Muslim. Or I don't know. I don't know what that thing was on her head. I, I know you know, god damn it, now I sound like a racist too. Carrie Cohan. Um, it's not. It's not an Arab name. Is it not an Arab middle name? Um, three one one four. So let me check that. Carrie Cohan. Karen. Okay, this. Um, you know what? And isn't this guy a freaking Arab too? Like, what is going on? What is happening right now? Can you please have a seat? And one of the nurses will be out to speak to you. But is everything okay? I mean, how, how did the surgery go? That's actually what the nurse will talk to you about. I need to know now. I need please. to know now! Please. Tell me. Tell me! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! This is so fake. This is so fake. Like, anyone would react like that. If I was her, I would be freaking the frick out. I would probably be throwing things. I'll be like, where is my mother? Is she okay? Because she freaking died, she probably. Yes, but in very critical. Oh, condition. no mind. I'll have the lead nurse in very critical condition. Hi, are you Karen? Yes. Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm the head nurse here, and I'm Because it was the Muslim guy. Of course, because it was the Muslim guy and you wouldn't let him you wouldn't let him board the plane. What kind of incompetent doctor is this? It's not his fault. And there was a hold up in the airport. My mother's life is on the line. Can I just see her? Yes. But she's in critical condition. Isn't there some other doctor here that can perform the surgery? No. 
I mean, unless you want to, I mean, unless you want to perform the surgery yourself. I mean, do you think you could perform the surgery yourself? Oh yes, I can because I am a Karen. Oh Karen, go on, Karen. Best in the country. Unfortunately, there's no work from him. So what's gonna happen? I mean, is it too late to operate? Well, unless that doctor miraculously walks through these doors right now, I don't think there's a chance. Which he will, literally, literally. Custody. Actually, please prep the patient for the surgery. My apologies, my Oh, she was, I mean, he was talking to her. Okay. Hours at the airport, but I'll explain everything later. Yes. We don't have a minute to spare if you want to save this woman. Yes, doctor. Wait, you're the doctor that's here to operate on my mom? Oh, it's your mom I'm operating on? Explains why you are here. Can't believe you're late to this. We will discuss this later, okay? I have a sworn duty to do everything to perform the best operation on your mom, and she needs to be right now. Okay, doctor. Thank you. Yeah, she still doesn't seem impressed. Now she's freaking out. It's a few hours later, she's freaking out. Sorry again for the delay. I understand. Yeah, luckily, they saw who I was and let me catch the next flight. If I hadn't made it, she would have been a daughter for sure. I'm glad you made it, doctor. I can't believe her own daughter. Yeah, Karen, like, do you really want your mom to die? I mean, maybe not judge. Like, maybe, like... Uh, or how does the saying go? Don't judge before you act, I think. Well, yeah, I, I mean, her mom could have freaking died. And, you know, she she would have never known. She would have never known that this guy, this Muslim, was supposed to have been her doctor to, you know, operate on the surgery. Can I see my mom now? Oh, wait a moment. She's recovering there. Thank you. Oh, well, just because he's the doctor that's going to perform the surgery on your mother means that you have to treat him with kindness and respect. That's a bunch of bullshit. Because she doesn't really mean that. Like, she, th that's what everyone says. Your mother could have been somebody else's. And you didn't even give me a chance to explain. Nor should I have to explain anything to you. Even if I wasn't here to save someone's life, why should I or anybody else who looks like me be treated like that at the airport? I was just trying to do my job, okay? Now, I was trying to keep everybody safe. You know, with, with everything that's happening now. Then your job is to discriminate people on the way they look or dress? No, I... It was a mistake. This mistake almost costed you your mother's life. How many other mistakes have you made in the past that put Probably a lot. Way? They were ready to lock me up for the entire weekend just because of her accusations. I'm truly, truly sorry. I, I didn't... You're not sorry. You're not that's sorry. Nonsense, Karen. That's exactly what you wanted to happen. Anyways, I did my duty. Saved your mother's life regardless of how you treated me today. You thought you were saving lives, but instead you almost did it at the expense of your own mom's life. I hope you learned something today. Yeah, of course. Of course she didn't. Of course she didn't. 